We can finally say that we have seen the swap. We're going to break down the deal. But at the press conference today, Kyrie talked about this. So much we've wondered about his relationship with LeBron. Here are the words Kyrie had at the presser about the best in the game. I'd be sitting up here and telling you guys a lie if I didn't tell you I learned so much from that guy. The, the perfection of the craft comes in a variety of forms. And you watch and you watch and you ask a lot of the great players, um, you know, how, how, what, what does it take to be great? And I've had the unique opportunity to play with one of the greats. And it was awesome. At times it was all over just like it is in any other team. And when you look back and you're eternally grateful for the moments that you've had and you've shared, you're able to um, put peace with that journey and start anew. And now that I'm sitting here, um, it just echoes in, in terms of me just being very appreciative of not only the Cleveland fans, uh, all of Ohio, but um, as well as Bron in, in incorporating me into that, that special team that we had in Cleveland. You know, Coach, finally we know that the deal is done. Kyrie is a Celtic. Has it sunk in for you and the difference now that it makes for him and his fit now not having LeBron with him on the floor? You have to hope that this works out in the long term for Kyrie because he's a wonderful individual. He's a very talented, gifted player on the floor. He took a very strong stance in going into the front office with ownership and management and saying, I would like to move on somewhere else after just coming off of three straight NBA championship appearances, winning one, losing the other two, uh, and having the best player in the game right alongside you with a good chance to go back for another one at the end of this season had they stayed together. But he chose or elected to move on and pursue his career elsewhere. So you're hoping this works out for him because if he falls flat on his face, you're going to feel sorry for this young 25-year-old of what he might have had. You know, here's the thing I've been thinking the last few days about this. You never get equal value for a great player in any sport when you trade them. Can you do better than Cleveland did here? I understand the hip with IT, but you think LeBron's going to go at the end of the year. Most important part is that Brooklyn pick because you feel like you can get a valuable young star to now build around in that next term. Well, the fact that they had no general manager in place for a while while this was going on and the meeting took place and they were kind of sifting through everything and then give Kobe a lot of credit, stepping in as a th young 34-year-old, now the new head general manager taking Dave Griffin's spot. A lot of pressure was put on him, and he came through in the end with a lot of pieces. Uh, if Isaiah Thomas was perfectly healthy, maybe Boston wouldn't have looked to do the deal, but perhaps they thought that he might be missing some time for them this year and may not ever get back to being 100%, and that's why they were willing to go ahead and do this deal. But they gave up a lot, but they got an all-star player, an all-NBA player, a championship player who's 25 years old, has two years left on his contract, and by today's standards, pretty good contract. And let's remember this, uh, IT with the heart that he had. You lose a family member, you come back that relationship. I don't think anybody should question him in his battle back. But now you think about Cleveland and maybe LeBron's last run. Are they suited to a point where you feel comfortable saying they're still the favorites in the Eastern Conference? If I knew Isaiah Thomas was going to be back, uh, as the same Isaiah Thomas. This guy averaged almost 29 points per game One last of the best year. players in the league last year. E exactly. Uh, so if you knew you had that piece coming back for Kyrie, he's three years older, uh, not quite as tall, big. You're not going to post him up like you can post Kyrie up against other guards. But you're getting that scoring ability, a shot maker, a guy in the fourth quarter besides LeBron James who will take and make big shots just like Kyrie was willing to do. But now the unknown is how healthy will he wind up being? When will they get him back? But they've tried to add some other veteran players. This is not a young Cleveland team. This is a veteran Cleveland team. Talk about you know, Rose and all the problems he's had, injuries, et cetera. Can they stay healthy to make this run through the regular season just to give him a chance to get back to the playoffs and then you start over again from the playoffs? I just let's not uh, forget this. They start the season against each other. I just want at some point LeBron gets switched off, ends up on Kyrie. 
Kyrie creative with the ball. Eight seconds left to go in the shot clock. One-on-one, -on -one, everybody else away from the floor. Just give us that moment, which I think we'll get. We had a great moment today for Celtics fans as they got a chance to welcome Kyrie Irving and for Coach Brad Stevens to welcome back his old friend Gordon Hayward. It was honestly the most human thing I could have done, which is ride the, the roller coaster wave of emotions. Um, but the important thing was at the time was honestly coming off of the finals loss and kind of not wallowing in my sorrows, but trying to figure out the next step in order to achieving that goal. And um, in doing that, uh, made it just a very courageous decision in order to take my, my myself and, and my intent and want to be a part of something bigger than myself. And whew, when Boston came and knocking, I was answering. I always say that Coach Stevens was the first person that you know, I always had a dream to play in the NBA, but he was the first person that I think made me realize I could maybe get there one day. Um, and, and so to, to be back and reunited with him again, I'm just, you know, beyond excited and, and can't wait to get to work. You look at where these guys now fit in, and, and from a coaching standpoint, you know as much as anybody, tell us, how do you get guys to gel? You got the kid in Tatum. You got these two. You've got more playing time for a Jalen Brown. Maybe more smart at the point guard. How do you fit all those pieces in it? For Brad Stevens, it's like almost taking a giant step backward now. Here he has built this franchise since he's arrived, step by step, getting playoffs, going further in the playoffs, getting to the Eastern Conference Finals. And the next thing is now trying to win the championship by getting to the finals. But when you look at that right there, three of those five players were not on the Celtics team last year. Four of those five players were not starters for the Celtics a year ago. Uh, looking at Brown moving into the starting lineup, yeah, they have a talented team, but now the experience that you gain of playing a season together, going through playoffs together, that starts over again for this group. And the coach has to figure out how to use them best. I'm sure he has some idea what he wants to do right now with those guys. But you have to put them together, see how well they play together, what your best units are, your substitution pattern. Is the depth good enough to get past the Cavaliers team? And then the number one factor every year is the injury factor. Can you stay healthy for the regular season? When you lose Bradley, Crowder, you lose a lot of defense. Do you expect to see a lot of Marcus Smart starting at the point guard, maybe Kyrie off the ball? to give them a tough defender at guard and, and, and let Kyrie just do his thing on the offensive side? Well, who they'll wind up starting, I'm not sure that's the most important thing. Who they wind up finishing the games with so they can get stops when they need to at the other end of the floor. Uh, Kyrie, not known as a defensive stopper. Haywood, not known as a defensive stopper. Uh, you know, Horford at the center spot, an undersized center, but a good defender, a solid defender. Brown, a very athletic. Morris gives them a little bit of that toughness back that they lost uh, without with Crowder moving on. Uh, I think this defense has to be reinvented. He may do some things differently with this group that he didn't do a year ago uh, because of the new personnel, and, and that's what the coach will figure out.